24 pack and play. My entire team will be built from packs and packs alone. The rules are very simple. I'm not allowed to use the auction house. Every win I get adds $75 to the bank. And every rage quit is one pack of my choice. In our very first episode, we built a 78 overall team. The first game was wild. It was very frustrating for our squad, but it was wild. We're 0-1. We have no money in the bank. And here's our team. Jalen Hurts, Kenneth Walker, Gerald Everett, McCole Hardman, Blake Prohl, Tim Patrick. But on defense, we got some studs like Dre Greenlaw, Randy Gregory, TJ Watt, Reed Blankenship, Jalen Ramsey, Hutch, and Sauce Gardner. We got to get a win or force a rage quit to even be able to build to this team. So today's pack and play is starting out with some gameplay. We need five wins before we get three losses to make it to the playoffs. Obviously, the end goal is to win a Super Bowl. So let's not go outside. We got to make the playoffs, right? We started out a little rocky. And since football season is a about to start. I want to make sure you guys can always get the best prices on tickets. So today's sponsor is SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app for a reason. They take all the tickets across the web and put them in one place so you can make sure you're getting a good deal. Obviously, I'll be using it to attend football games all season long, but baseball season's in full effect too. Drake and 21 Savage are on tour. All the best tickets are on SeatGeek. Plus, each ticket is rated on a scale from 1 to 10. Green means good and red means bad. If you use my code MMG, you'll get $20 off at SeatGeek. Again, that's $20 off your first purchase on SeatGeek when you use the promo code MMG. There's a link to download SeatGeek in the top of the description. And of course, enjoy the rest of the video, but it can really only go up from here if you watched the first episode. It can only go up. What do you got? What do you got? JC Horn, Josh Allen, and I have literally no idea what that was. Sauce, Blankenship, TJ Watt. This is literally the scariest screen you can see in pack and play. I'm just going to experiment with a bunch of different kickoff options. Let's go squib right. We'll, re we'll oh. Connection appears has been lost. Did he quit? Guys, what is your opinion on me taking a, a pack for that? Because technically that moved my record. I'm now one and one. You know, after the first episode, I just need a pick-me-up. I'm down horrendously, and um, I may never mentally recover. That was one of the most brutal things I ever sat through. I'm not going to add $75 to the bank, but I will open one pack for a rage quit. I don't really know why that guy quit. I can't necessarily call it a rage quit, but... The one pack I'm going to take is the Star Elite Pack. We get a 70-plus gold, a 76-plus gold, and an 80-plus elite. Can I just get a kicker? Like, actually. I can't believe I'm saying that. Get a D-tackle. You're not going to help us. Elite. Elite. Hey, he's a stud. He's a stud guard, but he low-key does not really help us. I'm actually going to move into my starting left guard because that's where he wants to be. And Josh Myers, could you be replaced by one of these guys? No, Josh Myers is still the best. All right, well, we've just got some extra core elites in Andrew Norwell. Ooh, that top three. I like that. I like that. All right, we are technically one and one in pack and play. I have had three kicks returned on me in one game. Ooh, you know what I just noticed? Look who's over there. Look who's over on that side. Sauce Gardner. I have no no idea how he ended up now where I need him in kick return. Would have been nice to have him there before. I don't know who Badgent is. Who is his quarterback? He's going to check it down to Odell, who gets rocked. Nice tackle. I'm looking half back. Oh, good pickup, Blankenship. Good pickup. I was close to that, but not close enough. Looks like he really likes this Odell. Hey, big suplex. Nobody's home. Where are you throwing? Henley's got the ball. I almost pitched that. I don't know if I could have done anything with it. Just a little, nice little route. Dude, why Gerald Everett has been my number one guy? Questionable pass over the middle there. Little RPO here. I'm going to go Kenneth Walker. Get home. Nice dive. I think this is zone, so Hardman should be there. His user sees it, so we'll check that down to Kenneth Walker. Ow! Big hit. This is play action. I think he'll bite. Oh, I had a... I still do. Oh, I still do. What a playmaker! Hard cut! One more! And... Let's go! God, come on! Can't have what we had last game, man. This was a monster play. Jalen Hurts with an incredible throw. I'm going for two. Deuce close stretch should get this. Just gotta hold that edge. Beautiful. Get over time. <laughs> dive OP. Dive OP. Dive OP. Dive OP. <laughs> Moody can kick... Oh my god, he got me with that post beater. Why didn't he YOLO that bitch? Bruh. YOLO'd it to my face and still got it. Oh my god. All right, we're sending a heater now. I'm not letting him do that again. I'm coming in hot with Randy Gregory. Oof. Not getting as much pressure as I'd like right now. Rifle's a nice one in. Ooh, he might score here. 
Play this smart. Play this smart. Play this smart. Just cover. We know he's passing. Right? Right? Beautiful. Second and goal. Yeah, I was worried about him running the ball. Damn. And D Swift is a lot faster than the rookie. Darn. He's got to go for two. He's going to throw right here. Hey! Wait a minute. Run it back. Oh, he got the tackle. Nice work. Vinny Gregory is proving to be an interesting middle linebacker, which is beautiful. 15 to 6 is such a good spot to be in. Oh my god, am I gonna am I gonna get my own? I almost kind of got my own. You know what I'm starting to think it is, boys? Kick returns are just way too good. It kind of reminds me of when in 2K, dude, you could just fucking drill full court shots like very good. Oh, I should stay bounce. Very consistently though. I'm kind of looking for McCole here. Step up, step up. Oh, you're faster huh? than his user. Fucking send it. Oh! Jalen! Jalen! Damn. We had him too, dude. I think this is zone. I'm looking for Tim Patrick. Oof. He makes a nice tackle here. It's fourth and four. I'm going to no huddle this. If it's man, I can go Hardman. If it's zone, I can go Akins. It's man, we go Hardman. Ooh, that's fucking ballsy. Oh my God. Look at the titanium nuts. Fourth and four. Throw a tutty. And that makes it 15 to six. Damn. That's a beauty. Just barely got out of that coverage, too. That very easily could have been broken up. DeAndre Swift bottled up. So, so now what? What just happened? How did my kick return team get to DeAndre Swift unblocked? But last game, I couldn't get off a block to save my life. Some people believe that there's this theory called dynamic difficulty adjustment, uh, where EA intentionally kind of almost predetermines outcomes for players. And the, the theory goes that if you've been having a bad time, like you lost a bunch of close games, EA, to suck you in and encourage you to keep playing, will adjust the difficulty so that you have favorable outcomes. Nobody knows if it's true. Nobody knows if that's a real thing. But like, dude, last game, none of this shit worked. This guy has the same overall team as the last guy I played. Like the same damn team. And yet I'm shedding blocks. We're lighting people up. We're getting to the quarterback. It's just weird, right? That's all I'm saying. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm just saying it's weird. And look at that. He throws a bad ball and I pick him up. I'm not going to be a conspiracy theorist. I just want to ball the fuck out and get a dub. Uh, why don't we test it? Let's just throw some egregious bullshit. I'm going to throw this to Hardman. That's interesting. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, my gold McCall Hardman absolutely torched his man. <laughs> but our pass was out of reach. Come on, Jalen. I'll go back to Gerald Everett, the people's tight end. I had Y. I'm just too beta. I had Y on that same play. Uh, I think this is a man blitz. So we're going to try a deuce close stretch here. Or is that at least... Okay. Man, oh man. You know, I'm not going to tell you how to do your job, but... uh. Gosh, I feel like you might have wanted to block that guy. Make the read. Make the read. Bad read. Fourth and 14. I'm already a two-position lead. I'm going to go for this. I think this is my best chance at a rage quit. I think I put this in. That puts this game out of reach, and hopefully he'll quit, and I can get that extra pack. Tim Patrick should be open here. Bump, bump, get past it. Beautiful. Oh, bad ball. <laughs> can a guess pass? Ooh, if this is inside zone, I'm in trouble. Somebody! Somebody get it! Hey, great play, Blankenship. Honestly, great play. He's going here. Ooh! Got in his face throughout the pass. It's third and 10 now. Let's just guess pass it. I'm going to go on Henley. Try and cover this little space here. He really wants to throw that, but it is just not open. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. We're there! We are bonking that ball around, but you know what? Turnover is a turnover. Dude, I have no idea what route McCole Hardman just ran, but I think that was the most egregious slant I've ever seen. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Gotta remember who my quarterback is. Jalen Hurts. Now we just punch this in. Let's go K-Dub! That was too easy. I'm gonna go for two. Some greedy bastard. I don't have a feeling it's gonna matter. I think my inside zone's gonna get a crazy push again, and I'm just gonna get it. Yes. Mega dive. He's right in. I don't know, man. It's just weird. TJ Watt, get your ass to the quarterback. That's what you get paid to do. All right, don't ask, but um, he's on the one-yard line. Don't ask how it happened. I'm run committing. I need to blow this up. Shit. You won't. You wouldn't run it. You're too scared. <laughs> Bro. Well, if our Freddy doesn't want to quit after this, I don't know what to say. See what I mean, man? Like, isn't this like, It's. I swear it feels rigged. How did I just return the kick? How? And watch, I can just run this inside zone and I'm gonna get an amazing push up front and I'm just gonna fly in. Z literally zero skill. I'm disguising this blitz here. He definitely thinks this is a blitz. And then I'm gonna pull out and cover. That's a good ball. Wow, that's a good ball. All this just to turn the ball over right now. That would be awesome. All this just to turn the ball over right now. It's 31 to 12. It is an absolute blowout, but he wants to stick it out. We got to look at Hardman here. Oh my God. Oh, nice catch. He's still up. I don't know. All that did was just burn clock. I wonder if he did that on purpose. He's not even going to cover it. 
So I'm going to throw the same thing. I'm going to get my timeout off. Can Jake Moody hit a 49er? He can't. Like, this is so fucked up. He's an NFL kicker. He can't get a 49-yard field goal. I know actual eighth graders who can hit a 49-yard field goal. Yes, cap. Yes, yes, cap. Yes, cap. Yes, yes, cap. Doing fake field goal kicker flip pass since that is literally the only option. Oh, I didn't even know what I called. Clock milk engaged. Jesus. It's hardly even clock milking when you get that many yards on a run. Oh my God. You know, we should add some incentive to pack and play, especially for games like this. Like there should be an incentive for every touchdown. But what would it be? I can't get a pack for every touchdown. That's too good. That's too much. What if we did a max fantasy pack for every touchdown? Cause those are like pretty dog shit packs, but still it's like, it has a chance to have something really good in it. I actually have to convert this now. So I'm gonna, good God, I'm playing against the computer. <sighs> Go Jalen, go Jalen, go Jalen, go Jalen, go Jalen. I, mean, I gotta juke this dude out. Uh, Fourth and inches. You know. You know K9's getting this, right? We even gotta talk about it. Yeah, I'm out. I think Gerald Everett's probably a touchdown here. Mm, no, I hit that. Oh no! He got home! He's gonna go here. Wow, nice ball. Shit, shit. I guess pass. He's gonna have a cakewalk. <laughs> Wait, did you just wanna score to quit? No. I thought he was gonna quit there. He's got man coverage on McCall Hardman. So McCall Hardman is going to torch. Oh my God, I love the whip route. I love that the whip route is still so good against man coverage. Now we can laser to Gerald Everett. Ooh, no way, buddy. Right, let's go Hardman. Let's go Hardman here. He's going to be there. Hardman, you're my, you're my guy. Just kidding, Hardman. You're getting clamped. All of a sudden it's fourth and 13. I just dropped. What is going on? This is fourth down. So I have to, oh my God, look at A. You just have to make the throw, Jalen. Where the fuck are you throwing? I, I get that I was pretty far out of the pocket, but my feet are just planted, set. He's wide open and that thing just went right to the DB. I guess pass here. Ooh, ooh, dude, what? What is going, what is happening? Somebody help me. He didn't have much of anything here. Let's go. Blank. Oh, get up. Shit. Shit. He actually He could have gone. I'm not ready to give up on these corner routes. Look at Tim Patrick staying in bounds. Dirty, dirty dog. He's trying to get there with Micah, but he's just a little too slow. And Davis, this is going to roll over. Kenneth Walker's got some space to work with. Try to spin. Did not work. Take the out route to Davis. Oh, shit. There's no clock. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Honestly, just a cakewalk. Cakewalk of a game. But we needed that in pack and play after last game. 336 yards for Jalen. Tyson Badgett had four interceptions. Kenneth Walker with a decent ground game, but nowhere near as good. DeAndre Swift, five for 88. Yeesh. All right, I like this new rule. Every touchdown is a max fantasy pack. This is nice because these aren't that expensive. They don't have really that much good stuff in them. Just gold or better players. But there's always a chance that you could do something with this. So our first round here so far has a whole lot of nothing. I'm really looking for a kicker. Oh, I did get an elite. Akeem Davis Gaither. I'll take that. And then the final round, Sean Robinson. 79 is not bad. Kelvin Beecham, Quentin Jefferson. Not bad. So that's one. We had four touchdowns. Two gives us Jalen Petrie. Okay, Braden Fajoko. This pack not looking as good as the other one. This is ugly. Max Fantasy Pack 3 has... Looks like a whole lot of golds. Damn. Jeremy Rucker, Brandon Bolden, Jacob Phillips. Yeesh. And the fourth and final has Arnold, Jonathan Cooper, Kate Otten, Terrace Marshall, Troy Anderson. So out of those four, we got one elite. With the win, though, we add $75 to the bank. Now, there's a reason that every win is $75 here, and you can see why. So the biggest points value is $150. It's, it's technically discounted if you have EA Play, but... 75, if I use it, gets me 8,900. But if I save up the 150, I can get the most value for my money. So I'm going to use my 75 here. Gives us 8,900 points. We're just going to use it all right now. We can start with the Headliners Unauctionable Starter Pack. It gives us two 84 overall Headliners players. I don't get to pick the two, though. So it's random. Our first one. Yes! Oh, wide receiver one. And our second 84 Headliners player. Monster. Ooh. My linebackers are so good. Trayvon Walker. The Headliners Heroes Power Pack is 284 or better and 184. So really, with this one, it's a bit more of a gamble. We're just hoping for an 87. Any of the 87s obviously would be immaculate. Tevin Jenkins, that's huge. That's also an 84, unfortunately. We already do have Kadarius Tony, And our third and final is El Caranquo. Let's throw in our best possible lineup and see what that takes us to now. Best overall lineup is now an 80. You got 10. 
Tevin Jenkins up there. You got Kadarius Tony in, which is huge. O-line still looking really, really solid. I love my O-line. D-line now has Trayvon Walker with Drake Greenlaw as the user. Backup is Gregory, TJ Watt, Okoronkwo, DJ Reader, Aiden Hutchinson. Darius Rush is my CB3. Jalen Petrie is my new starting strong safety. Reed Blanket ship moves over to free safety. Still no kicker. We did get a punter, I guess. A decent punter, but no kicker. Canary's Tony, a kick return and punt return is nice. My only issue right now is there's no value. There's no real value for me to use this 5,100 cash on. Like, there's nothing that's worth it right now. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close this episode out. I'm going to save that 5,100. And next episode, I'm hoping there's better packs out that I can use that on. Upgrade the team a little bit and then go for the win. Are they going to let me be the misogynists? <laughs> Let's fucking go. Hey, guys, keep this quiet. Don't tell EA. There's our top five, bro. Sauce, TJ Watt, Jalen Hurts, Kadarius Tony, Reed. Looking good. We save the cash. We bank it for later. And next episode, we open some amazing packs and kill it, boys. All right, boys. Pack and play. Episode two in the books. Big win. Needed it. I'll see you guys in number three.